guys it's V welcome back to another video today I'm going to be decorating and organizing my new photo card binder this is the one that I got it is from the Etsy shop bigger hits I'll link it down below it did take a while to get here because it was a pre-order but it is extremely pretty it's like this light pink color and it has glitter in it and I just think it is really pretty and it also came with 25 sheets inside that hold eight photo cards each they're double-sided so they have pockets on both sides so that should be more than enough to hold all my photo cards so this here is my current photo card binder it is honestly just a binder i used to use for my one biology lab so um, it's just pretty messy i just have everything kind of thrown in kind of by group so mostly shiny and then i have my bts photo cards and then I have a few A pink, all the ones from B, two, actually I have one more AT's photo card. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add this Hong Jun in here. I have one one us PC, so mostly BTS and Jiny, but I have a few other guys in there as well. And then in the front pocket here, I keep postcards and any photo cards that are too big to fit. I unfortunately didn't get any of the nice postcard holders for my photo card binder, but I will find something to do with these ones. All right, so now that we've kind of gone through that, I think I'm gonna start off by filling in the photo card binder and organizing it and then I'll make my dividers after. I printed out a bunch of pictures for my dividers onto sticker paper. I just lined the edges of the photos in different colors on Procreate and then I printed them out on this sticker paper. And then I also did the same with each group and some members names and then just cut those out as well. I just move all of this out of the way for right now. And also the Etsy shop that I ordered my photo card binder on also sent me some really cute shiny photo cards as a pre-order gift and this little Hobie Core smile that I'm probably gonna add to his page. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the photo cards out of my binder. All right, so here is a pile of all my photo cards. I'm gonna go ahead and sort these by group and then also by member. Now I think I'm gonna sort based on the group which I have the most photo cards for. So I'm gonna start with shiny. I'm gonna do group photo cards first because I have four of those so those will fill uh, this guy from Don't Call Me. Actually we're gonna go by So that's it for shiny. I'm now going to move on to BTS and starting off with I was going to do group PCs But I kind of want to keep all of the B photo cards together because I think they look nice together Also, I don't have PCs for Jin or Yoongi and I only have one Taeyong PC and it's too big to put in here I think I literally just have yeah or Tonguk. I only have the one big one again So I only have one RM PC a few J-Hope PCs and a lot of Jimin PCs, so I'll figure out how I'm gonna do that. But I think I'm gonna keep all of the B photo cards together because there is eight of them, including the group one. So I'm just gonna start this one off with, I have this dark and wild guy here. I'll put these here because they're kind of similarly shaped. And you know, I'm just gonna stick this one here too because I have no other RM PCs, so 
I guess I'll put him here for now. Now we're gonna do ATs, who I only have three photo cards for, so I'm just gonna put all of those in one. And then my two A pink photo cards. And then lastly, I only have one page left, so um, I didn't make a, a page for One Us anyway, so I'm just gonna put Lido here with Hyunsung and call it a day. All right, so that is everything nice and filled. I'll give you a tour afterwards, but until then, we're gonna start on with the decorating part, which is the exciting part. This is an A5 size binder, so in order to make dividers for it, I cut out pages the same size as the clear holders inside out of cardstock and then I use this hole punch to make the six holes on each side. I actually haven't checked if they fit. And then I just used a paper cutter to cut them out. They're not all the same size, but I tried my best. All right, so as I mentioned before, I went ahead and cut out all of these photos, about two per single member and then one per group. So I have one for shiny, a pink. I should have sorted these earlier. So I have this all sorted out now. We're gonna start off with shiny. Since they are obviously the group I have the most PCs for. Then I also have some washi tape as well to kind of help decorate. I'm just gonna try to keep these pretty minimalistic. So that is my shiny page there. Again, I'll show you all of these again later when we do our flip through and PC tour. For the shiny members, I tried to do it so that I was using their official colors. So Onyu's is green. with the shiny so we're gonna move on to BTS as I mentioned I didn't make one for each member I made one for the group and then also I made one for J-Hope, RM, and Jimin of course I didn't realize I only had one RM PC but it'll be fine
so I just finished up my dividers I think they're really cute I'm pretty happy with how they came out so I'm also gonna try to make I've got my shiny one I'm gonna try to make like a title page as well I kind of want like a shiny group picture in the middle hmm I have this little like Polaroid picture of shiny that I got when I ordered from someone on Etsy at one point so I'm gonna use that for the middle I'm just gonna use washi tape to stick it down Honestly, it's kind of boring compared to my other ones, but I think we're just gonna leave it like this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together. So now that I'm done decorating everything, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little flip through of my photo card binder and kind of talk about my favorite photo cards and everything. So here is my shiny page. I wanted the color to be pearl aqua, but my printer had other plans, so it ended up being just more blue, but it's really cute. This is one of my favorite pictures of shiny and it's their iconic concert pose and I think it's really cute. And then in here I have kind of group photos. So this one is from the Story of Light episode two, and this one's from the Story of Light epilogue. They're not technically in order, but that's okay. This one here is double-sided. As you can see, this side has Taemin and Mino on it. And this is from the 2020 season's greetings. I don't know if it was a pre-order gift. I ordered through my K-pop store and they're just like, here's a photo card, so I'm not quite sure. This here is the calling card from Don't Call Me and I have the group one. And then here is my page for Onyu. His official color is green. Again, it was a little bit different before I printed it out, but this is what I ended up with. It's pretty cute. It looks nice with the blue, I think. This is one of my favorite pictures of him. This one's from Atlantis. Got a little messed up in the printer, but that's okay. And here are my PCs of him. These two are from the 2015 season screening. This one is from Shiny 5, so that is a Japanese album. And this one is from Voice, his solo album. And then here I have two of his photo cards from Don't Call Me. I believe this is from the full album and this one is from the jewel case. And then this one here is from Atlantis. Next we have Jonghyun's page. His official color is blue. Again, wanted it to be a little bit more pearl aqua, but honestly this kind of gives me blue night vibes, so I love it. And we're starting off here with this photo card. This one here is from the Misconceptions of Us. This one's from Everybody. I don't actually don't have the Everybody album. I bought this one, but I love this photo card so much and needed it for my collection. These two again are from the 2015 season's greetings. This one here is from Married to the Music. These two down here are from his debut mini album Bass. So those are the two versions there. And then this one is from She Is. And then here we have actually my first ever shiny PC, which is from One in One. It was the first shiny album I bought and I pulled Jonghyun and I was so happy about it. And then here I have three out of the four photo cards from Story OP2. I'm missing the second one of this one. I bought this PC and um, I didn't mention I bought this PC as well. This one came in the album I have. So I got these two and my two versions, the essay version and the photo version. And then I bought this one. Next, moving on to Ki. Ki's official color is pink. And I love these two pictures of him. I think they're really pretty kind of lacking in the key department. <laughs> I've never pulled him from a shiny album, so I just have, again, the two PCs from the 2015 season's greetings. And then this photo card here is from his first album repackage, I Wanna Be. And moving on to Mino, whose color is orange. I didn't have orange washi tape, so I just used some different colors, but I like how it turned out. These colors kind of match the tarp or whatever he had in the Story of Light. 
Here I have, again, two photo cards from the season's greetings. This one here is from the Story of Light episode two, and this one is from the epilogue. This photo card is one of my favorites of him. It looks super high definition. I can't even explain it. It's just very, very nice. And then this photo card here is from Don't Call Me, the jewel case. And I actually got two of these and sent one to my friend. <laughs> it's my first time double pulling. And then we have Taman. We have Sherlock, The Misconceptions of Me, his first mini album, Ace. And then this one is from Odd. The two other photo cards from Season's Greetings. This one is from Moving the Second Album Repackage. This is a Super M one. I actually traded this one. I had 10 originally and found someone on Twitter who was nice enough to trade with me for a Taman PC. Next, I have this one from his T100110 concert book, and I love this one too. And this one is from Never Gonna Dance Again Act 1, and these are the two I got in both versions of Never Gonna Dance Again Act 2. And I also got the repackage of the album, and I got this photo card here in that one. And then this photo card is from a jewel case of Don't Call Me. I like this one a lot as well, it's really cool. I think it's one of like the VR photo cards. Next, moving on to BTS. I just really love the pink concept of this, so I made it nice and pink and added some purple as well because that's their color. And then I also put RMs here because I only have one of his photo cards. I love the green color on this and I love the two pictures. So here I have a group photo card from Dark and Wild, the Polaroid from Life Goes On, and then this photo card from Map of the Soul Persona. I'll insert what version it's from. I can't remember right now. I have versions one and version four, but I sold one of my PCs for it. I think this is from version four. Next, we have J-Hope. I added this nice little flower here because I think that embodies him pretty well. And I used bright colors for him because he is like the brightest person ever. So here we have one from Dark and Wild. This is from You Never Walk Alone. This one here is from Love Yourself Her and Map of the Soul 7. Moving on to Jimin. Jimin just makes me think of pink and yellow, so I use those colors. I have this photo card here from Love Yourself Her, Love Yourself Tear, and Love Yourself Answer. These two are some of my favorite photo cards. I love the little heart cheeks, and I also love this one with the red. I think it's really nice. And this one here is from Map of the Soul 7, The Journey. And this is the first BTS photo card I ever got. It's from BTS World. It's actually double-sided, so that's what that side looks like. And this one isn't really an official photo card, but it came with a contacts lens case that I bought. And then here I have all of my B photo cards. So the group card, Namjoon, Jin, Yoongi, J-Hope, Jimin, Taeyong, and Jungkook. Next we have ATs. The color was supposed to be orange, but it got a little bit messed up when I was printing it, but it reminds me of Fever, the way it kind of changes colors, so I thought that was really cool. And then I added some yellow and blue just to match the picture. I only have three PCs. These two here are from All to Action. And then this one I bought kind of separately because I bought the album used. But that one is from One to All, and it's Hong Joon, he's my bias, so I really love this photo card, and I love the red hair. And then this one is a group photo, and this one is Songhua. And moving on to A Pink, these are the only girl group photo cards I have, and I don't have a lot of them. I decided to make them a page anyways because I think they're really cute. And of course I chose to decorate with some pink. So here are my two photo cards. This one here is hard to see because it's clear. There you go. So here I have Bumi and Nan from Percent, the only girl group album I have. Nan is my bias, so I love having a photo card of her. And then lastly, we have my page for Hopi Pola. They only have two mini albums out and only one of them has a photo card, so there aren't really many photo cards for them yet. But they are one of my alt groups, so I wanted to make a page for them anyways. And I love this picture. This is from a nylon magazine photo shoot and I love the pink. So I used that for this page. I think it looks really cute. 
And then the, here are my two photo cards. This one is Lido from One Us, from Raise Us. I just put him here because I don't think I'm going to be collecting any more One Us photo cards. So this bin, this page was pretty much empty. And this here is Hyun Sung from Hopi Pola. I love him a lot and I'm happy to have his photo card. So yeah, that brings us to the end of my photo card collection. I will do a quick little flip through without me talking just so you guys can see and look at everything. And so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know I had a lot of fun making this video. I've always wanted to make a really cute and aesthetic photo card binder, so I'm really glad that I finally had the chance to do it. I love how it turned out and the divider pages were really fun to make and I love being able to do creative things surrounding K-pop. I hope you were able to get some inspiration or just enjoyed looking at my photo card collection. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.